Hello everybody, this is TJ, and this is me, 12 years ago. I left humanities and literature major for graphic design, and I'm happy about that. Um, I'm a foodie, yeah, you can see that. And I love food, I can't stop eating. That's why I became a crossfitter, because you know, if you do crossfit, you eat a lot and yes i'm a crossfitter and i have my own home gym because i'm introverted i love lifting because if you lift a lot you eat a lot and if you eat a lot you are more happy more happy is false happier is true english is not my first language so sorry and you know this is me back squatting. I love back squat. I don't know. I think that's the best movement in the world. I just love it so much. And I have really good friends. They celebrate my birthday. Although they know I'm a loner. I might not be the best friend for them. And I'm their photographer. Because I hate being in the pictures. And this is me. Call me TJ. I don't know why nobody told you the truth and why everybody is keep lying to you but I'm gonna tell you the truth in this video. Hello everybody this is TJ and today I'm gonna be talking about the truth about belly fat but first make sure to subscribe and like this video. I was searching on YouTube about how to lose belly fat. I wanted to know what do other people talk about, what do other people say and suggest to you guys. And I saw videos with over 8 million views, over 3 or like 1 million views and I watched all of them. I was shocked. I was shocked because I don't know why nobody was telling the truth, was telling the easiest, healthiest, and best way to lose fat, not belly fat, because it's not possible. And I'm gonna tell you why. I watched this video with over 3 million views. There was this doctor talking about a strict low carb diet with no snacks between. First of all, is it possible to not have snacks between meals? No. And, and he kept telling that you should lower your carbohydrate and you shouldn't have snacks. Carbohydrate is bad, it makes you fat and stuff like that. And he was a doctor. How? How, how is it possible? It was a doctor talking about cutting carbs. Wasn't even talking. He wasn't even talking about keto diet. He was talking about a regular diet, but with a lot lower carb. And he didn't talk about workout at all. He didn't say what workout is good and what you should do and what you should not do. And he was just talking about cutting carbs and not having snacks in 15 minutes. I saw another video with over a million views talking about a cinnamon drink actually there was this woman talking about a, a recipe of cinnamon drink with honey and she said if you drink this before breakfast with your empty stomach you will lose five kilograms in one month the most interesting video was with over three million views talking about apple vinegar and drinking a lot of apple vinegar about like three to five spoons a day in order to lose weight and belly fat it's not possible i actually lose apple vinegar but not to lose belly fat or fat or lose weight it has another reason the reason why we use apple vinegar before a carbohydrate meal which is lunch for me is that when you eat carbohydrate or any type of sugar your body spreads insulin in your blood 
So insulin is actually a very good hormone we we need that it helps with your metabolism it's very good but it could be bad a lot of insulin in your blood could cause the yabits that's how you pronounce it like in in farsi we call it diabet is it the yabits i don't know english is not my first language so sorry so the reason why we use apple vinegar is just being healthier and not having a lot of insulin in our blood it doesn't help you lose fat or like belly fat and stuff it it might helps but it's not enough you have to work out you have to have a diet not strict one but you have to have a diet and you have to work out and with this you know it helps not that much like it's not a miracle imagine all of these recipes in these videos work and you lose five kilograms eight kilograms i don't know 15 kilograms in one month is that healthy is that all fat because when you lose weight it could be water muscle or fat you want you don't want to lose muscle because who wants to lose muscle it's not healthy the best way and the most standard way to lose weight is to go on a standard diet which has carbs fat and protein in that and also working out and workout doesn't mean cardio only if you go on a strict diet with not a lot of calories not a lot of carbohydrates the wa the water in your body will be reduced when the water is reduced in your body your metabolism will be reduced and it's going to be useless like going on diet and doing a lot of cardios will be useless because if you don't have a good metabolism you won't lose weight so what we suggest is to go on a not really hard diet like a standard and good diet work out 80 20 80 percent of like cardio and conditioning workouts and 20% of weightlifting and bodybuilding. Why? Because weightlifting and bodybuilding helps you with your metabolism and that's exactly what you want. So sticking to cardio and low carb diet, they don't help you and they reduce your metabolism and that's exactly why you don't want during this process so my suggestion is to stop drinking and eating different recipes to lose fat and follow the best way which is going on a standard healthy enough diet and working out and what you should actually do is you should find a good coach to do all of them for you so that was it for this video, hope you enjoyed it, hope it was useful for you. If it was, please like this video and make sure to subscribe. Hey guys, you know if the gelatin works? Is my lighting good? I don't know. Cheers. Hello everybody, this is TJ and this is my coffee. Hi. Hmm. Well, today I'm going to be making, or baking, I think making, right? Cheesecake. Why? Because I'm happy. Why am I happy? So here's the story. I broke two of my personal record after I stopped dieting. You know, I stopped dieting because of some, you know, mental breakdowns. You know, basically, I was really sad about something. It's another video I'm going to be talking about. And I was like, you know, food shouldn't be a concern right now because I have, like, more issues. So I stopped dieting. Yes, my coach approves of, approves of that. Approves. My coach approves of that and 
I broke my back squat record in the first day, which was Saturday, and tomorrow, like, I mean, the day after that, I broke my deadlift record on Sunday. What? You know, it's just so cool that you're like really happy because, you know, as an athlete, when you break your personal record, you're just the happiest person in the world. And I broke two in two days and I was like, I have to do something, but uh, nobody really helped me to do something. So I was like, I can make cheesecake. I know you're not here to listen to me and my life. So let's make this girl. Okay, I have the whole recipe here. It's in Farsi. Yeah, you don't understand what it is. All right, that's basically what we all need for a cheesecake, I think. Uh, this is vanilla. I mean, you know, it's, it's like a powdered, but when I watch like tasty videos, they have like, you know, vanilla extract it's liquid but we don't have such a thing in iran and this biscuit uh powder sugar that's how you call it and i have cream cream cheese another one i think 500 grams and this girl uh how do you call it? I, I I can't remember. Gelatin? 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 I don't know. I don't know. You know what it is. Milk and jelly for the top of that. And yeah, that's basically it. So, we have... Can you see that? We have cream cheese. It's in Farsi if you can read it. If you know why I started this YouTube channel? Because I'm such a loner and I wanted to have like connection with people. But it's way out of my comfort zone. Like, it's really scary for me. What? What? It's really scary for me to actually go out and, like, make friends and have a connection with people. I don't know. I, I'm just really scared of people and, like, going out hanging out, having a lot of friends. I don't have a lot of friends. I have just a few good friends. And... Oh my God! I had to do deal with these. What? I'm, I'm such stupid. Yeah, anyway. Yeah. I wanted, I am using YouTube to have actual connection with people and I know it's very sad because, you know, it's quarantine and my life is the same and I'm really happy that nobody really asks me to hang out and, you know, go out with because it's out of my comfort zone. It really... It, you know, it actually makes me cry when people ask me to go out and when I have to go to a party. And, you know, I mess this up because I feel good with people who watch my videos and I forgot that this is the first step. We have 250 grams and... This is less. This is way less than what I need. And I have no more cookies here. Like no cookie, no biscuit. Fuck. I have to call my mom. Is that how you pronounce it? Biscuits? Because, you know.
know, I studied English by myself, not all of that, but a huge part of that, so sorry for accent, for bad accent. 650 grams, I need 150 grams. Ooh. is 170 grams of biscuits waiting for my mom and butter is being melted. Okay, my mom hasn't arrived yet but I bought something I've never had before. I bought soy milk. I have no idea how it tastes like. It's sweet. I think it has added sugar. Yeah, it has sugar. 21.9, like about 22 grams of sugar, but is it added sugar? I think it is added sugar because it shouldn't be that sweet. That it was khariji, so I said I have to buy this. You know what does khariji mean? Khariji is foreign and it's it's not Iranian. It was really expensive. I have melted butter right here and biscuits. Oh, that's hot. I shouldn't pour all of them, but I poured all of them. I think that's a lot. I don't think that's a lot. I am pretty sure. Oh, no. Oh. You know, I always measure, but I see like nobody actually measures anything. And I was like, I can do the same. And look, look what we got. It's, oh, it's just really liquidy. Don't worry. I have more. Yes. I hope it works because if it doesn't, you didn't see that. I think it's like better, not the best, but better. What do you think? Oh my god. Oh my goodness. Fuck. You know, I told you. Oh, oh. Oh my god, I'm messing everything up. It's fine, like, it's fine. Don't tell my mom. My, you know, my mom's gonna say that, so. I've never been this bad in cooking. I think it's because I'm in front of the camera. Should I stop everything and just go? Just... I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator for God knows how long. All right, we have cream right here and the sound is sound of you know i'm i'm melting gel oh my i don't know how to pronounce it gelatin gelatin i don't know gelatin i think yeah you know i before i mess everything up i was talking about how loner i am and you know i wanted to make a connection with people by YouTube you know because I like to have connection with people but first nobody really likes me because everyone thinks I'm just you know I'm really disgusting because I'm really healthy and I always work out and you know I don't prefer anything 
over CrossFit. And I'm not even going to compete in CrossFit or be a coach. But I'm just living like I'm, I'm a real athlete. Like, I'm a real athlete, but I'm not going to compete at all. I know I'm not really competable, but I'm really disciplined, which is boring for everyone. And sometimes my coach says, we don't even live like you. Like, you just take it really seriously. But here I am making cheesecakes. It's not athletic. Take a look. I don't think it looks bad. I don't know. I've never had one. That's how it looks. But I don't know. Like... Hey, are you sure it's is that all? Let let me taste it. Tastes like cheese. Um, I want a little more vanilla. If I pour that, I have no way back, and I'm gonna pour that. Ooh, I don't know how it's gonna turn out. Like. Can I actually celebrate my personal records with this? Like, you should turn out good, baby. I'm gonna add this, a Jilo. It's a blackberry flavor. And it says it doesn't have a lot of sugar in it, but I'm sure it has a lot of sugar in it. But who cares? It's a celebration and that's because I'm happy, so I don't care about sugar. All right, I'm gonna put that in the refrigerator. All right, this girl will stay here tonight and I'm going to clean this mess. This girl has been in the refrigerator for over, I don't know, 10 hours and it's time to see if I did a good job. It's 8.34 p.m. and time for the result. Hube? I mean, it doesn't look bad at all. I didn't expect that. It doesn't look the prettiest, but look at that. I did it, right? All right, guys, that was it for this video. Hope you enjoyed it. If you enjoyed, please like this video and don't forget to subscribe. This is DJ and today I'm going to be talking about things you should do before you go to the gym. But first, please make sure to subscribe. I really appreciate it and follow me on Instagram. So you might want to go to the gym or you've already been to, but you want to know what can make the process easier and how can you be like happier and enjoy it even more. Number one, the first thing you should know is that it's going to be a long-term process.
process it's not going to be short at all you should think about at least one year and it doesn't matter if you want to lose fat if you want to gain weight if you want to be a model you want to have a better healthier lifestyle you need at least one year and it's going to be long if you're looking for short-term process to you know to get the results you want short terms are always unhealthy and if you don't want to hurt your body you should forget about short-term process and go on a standard and healthy diet with like healthy exercises because yes exercises could damage yourself in, if you do them in wrong ways so just rely on long-term process and look for the result after like one or two years number two don't look at yourself at the mirror every single day so you can't actually not look at yourself at the mirror every single day because you know it's not possible by that i mean don't just stand up and start judging yourself start despising your body because you know it's gonna make you feel bad about your body if you love your body right now and you do that you always judge your body you're gonna hate it and you might quit going to gym or something like that and it's not really mentally healthy if you're struggling with not loving your body or some body issue you don't want to look at yourself every single day and just judge yourself every single day because it's not healthy at all for example for me i used to just judge myself every day and look at myself just you know detail by detail and i ended up hating my body so look at your body to see the changes like every 20 30 days it's going to be better you're going to feel better because you are able to see the changes even more when you like don't see your body in like a month the third thing you should know is that you shouldn't focus on your weight it's totally false why because when you lose weight or when you gain weight it doesn't mean it's fat or muscle it could be muscle water or fat for, so for example you go to gym and you haven't lost weight in a month and you're like okay i'm not seeing the results it's false it's totally false why because you might have gained like one kilogram of muscle and lost one kilogram of fat so your weight hasn't been changed and that's totally understandable but if you see changes in your body but you don't see changes on the scale you shouldn't be worried there is just one condition you should be worried about is that when you lose weight but you like your body doesn't change a lot you should be worried because you know it might not be fat it might be muscle or water and that's exactly what you don't want to happen number four is really really important focus on changes not results because you know the result and the body type you're looking for will be achieved but in a year or two it's not gonna be achieved in like a month so if you don't focus on changes and only focus on the result you want you won't enjoy the process because it's not gonna be achieved in a month you need at least a year most of the most of the times you need two years to achieve your goal and to achieve like the body top you're looking for if you focus on changes you will love yourself you will know that like the process is working for you and you will be just happier so i don't say don't have a like body type in your mind and want to achieve that i say don't be obsessed with that specific body type and just don't be obsessed with anything not weight not the body type and just see the changes and enjoy the process that's the most important thing you want during your diet and like your workout you want to enjoy you want to be 
healthy and happy. And nothing is more important than being healthy and happy. Number five, treat yourself. Yes, I don't mean a whole cheat day. No, it's not right. If you feel like you need a cheat day every single week, you need to change your diet plan because a standard diet plan means a healthy lifestyle. It shouldn't be hard. It shouldn't be like you're torturing yourself. It should be really comfortable and you need to be really happy about that. And you shouldn't feel like there's something wrong and you need something, but you don't have it in your diet plan. If you feel like this, your diet plan is wrong and you should change it. Diet doesn't mean being hungry all the time, sleeping hungry and being exhausted, not being able to actually work out well. A diet plan means a diet plan, just that it's not going to be hard. And for example, for me, I have a cheat meal every like 20, 25 days. I have like a meal, like a pizza or something and a dessert, like a cake. Or something like that and I have one ice cream every single week and that's like the unhealthiest I am so that was it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed please like this video and don't forget to subscribe This is DJ and today I'm going to be talking about some weight loss tips. But first, don't forget to subscribe. I really appreciate it and follow me on Instagram. If you've already started losing weight or you want to start that, watch this video to the end. Tip number one, don't cut carbs. Why? I know we cut carbs in order to lose weight, but not that much. And you should know if you cut carbs a lot and just stop eating carbs, you will feel exhausted, angry, you will not be able to work out well because it really affects uh, on your energy. And the one thing you should know, which was really surprising for me, was that by eating carbs, you're actually helping your body to lose fat. I didn't know that. I was surprised too. But when a nutritionist told me that if you cut carbs, you're actually, you know, hurting your fat loss journey. I was shocked. I was, I was like, is that possible? Because, you know, the only thing everyone tells us is that carbs are bad. They make you fat. It's not true. It's absolutely wrong. Carbs actually help you. They help you work out. They help you be happy, not be angry. And also they help you with your fat loss journey. Carbs also save the water in them. Like when you eat carbs, you have like more water in your body and that's exactly what you want. So you don't wanna cut carbs at all. Tip number two, don't skip weightlifting. By weightlifting, I don't mean like clear and jerk or snatch. I mean just you know, like some butt, some building, some weightlifting, you know, not very heavy, just, you know, basic things. Why? Because lifting weight actually helps with your metabolism and that's exactly what you want. So just sticking to cardio and heat workouts only wouldn't really help you lose weight. You have to do weightlifting with that and it really helps you really helpful and for girls who think if they like lift weight they will look masculine or you know it makes them look big and like a man it's not gonna happen if it was that easy i would have been happy but it's not that easy you need testosterone in your body in order to build muscle we have like testosterone in our body but not that much so it's not really easy and it doesn't happen overnight. It's not like waking up and like looking at looking yourself at a mirror and be like, oh, I look masculine. No, it's not. It's not easy. 
it doesn't happen soon and by lifting like light weight it doesn't happen it needs discipline a special nutrition plan and it's another story what i'm talking about is just some light weight lifting some bodybuilding and it really helps with your metabolism and don't think cardio and heat are gonna help you and they work like a miracle no you need to lift weight number three that's what everybody talks about and that's absolutely true you need to be constant so it's really important to be constant why because you don't want to lose time imagine you've been going to the gym for like a month and you've been on a diet and you quit when you you quit for about like i don't know two weeks and you come back your body needs at least one week to adopt with you know the workout and your diet and you know the first day of coming back to diet and the gym you feel like exhausted you feel like you're not strong enough and you basically don't feel like that and you need at least like one week so basically you lost three good weeks in these three weeks you could see a lot bigger changes you could be like stronger and a lot of good things could happen in these three weeks but you lost it if you want a rest day if you want a cheat meal just have it don't you know quit everything and come back again because you're gonna lose a lot of time tip number four make it your lifestyle so your diet shouldn't be that hard it shouldn't be like a torture it should be like standard like your lifestyle you shouldn't be hungry at all always remember that you shouldn't sleep hungry if you sleep hungry your diet is not standard if you think you're doing something you go you go to the gym you're on a diet and you will stop that after a year like you achieve your goal you get the body type you want and you just leave everything and come back to your previous life you are wrong it's not gonna happen it shouldn't happen because when you go to the gym when you go on a diet you want to build a lifestyle you want to be healthy and happy and you know that's basically the goal like the main goal is to be happy and healthy and to build this good lifestyle a new lifestyle if you want to just leave everything after you achieve your goal and just start eating junk foods and being awake till 5 a.m don't go to the gym don't start a diet because the most important thing is not appearance it's not your body shape it is your lifestyle so try to make it your lifestyle if you think your diet is too hard to become your lifestyle just change it or you know work with another coach or another nutritionist because your diet should be standard you shouldn't feel like you know it's hard and you shouldn't sleep hungry again you shouldn't sleep hungry if you sleep with hunger you definitely need to change your diet because you know diet shouldn't be something hard shouldn't be something that you know you'll leave after a month start a diet go to the gym i don't know four or five times a week and just enjoy make it your lifestyle and you will see big changes in your life tip number five have discipline i'm going to be talking about motivation in the future but i believe discipline is way more important than motivation because you know discipline makes you do something when you don't feel like doing that and it's really important because you know a motivation it's a uh, it's an emotion you know it comes and goes and you know you can't really rely on emotion but if you have discipline you will do that and that's really important i think having discipline is the key to succeed in anything you want especially fat loss 
because you know you sometimes don't really feel like doing that don't really feel like eating whatever is on your diet or going to the gym and working out you know you sometimes don't feel good it's totally fine but what is not fine is actually not doing that when you don't feel like that if you wake up and you don't feel like doing something you don't feel like going to the gym and following your diet in that day i say be mean to yourself by that i mean don't care about how you feel and if you have motivation or not just go to the gym just work out with bad feeling it's totally fine to sometimes work out when you don't feel like that and just follow your diet doesn't matter what doesn't matter if you have like motivation or not if you rely on motivation you will fail because you don't always have motivation but if you have discipline you always have it and you will succeed in anything you want so that was it for this video hope you enjoyed it if you enjoyed please like this video and don't forget to subscribe in this video i filmed my body issue for seven days to see how i feel when it comes to words i didn't really used to talk about my body issue but right now i think if i talk about it you feel like you're not alone and i think it feels a lot better to feel other people feel the same as you do and you're not the only one i remember when i felt i was alone and nobody had uh, such a problem like i had i was feeling really weak i was feeling like i'm nothing and no one but right now, by searching a lot more, watching a lot of videos, reading a lot of articles about that, I realize I'm not alone. And it feels very good. It feels like I'm strong and I want you to feel strong as well. So, you know, when it comes to power clean, I don't feel good. I had power clean today and, you know, I started crying from warm up to cool down. I was feeling very very bad and you know it needs a, a lot of strength i'm on a diet right now i forced my coach so i i can't really complain and i just cried and did my power cleans um it, it's it's not good i don't feel good but i don't want to stop my diet because i don't love myself as well so it's like a catch 22 uh i just hope i find like a way but right now it's not going well so nobody really knows what i am through and it hurts because i'm just alone and i don't know if i want my strength my strength back or my body like if I want to look slimmer or I want to look stronger. I, I don't know. Like, no, I'm not strong. I don't feel strong. And it's hard. But it's also hard when I feel like, you know, I'm fat. I feel like I'm fat. I know I'm not. I know I'm not fat. I have fat, but not. I don't look bad or I don't look fat um, and I want my strength so it nobody really understand and it hurts um, I'm going to start my workout and I just don't feel strong and that's like I thought I'm okay with that but I'm not it's a, a lot harder than I thought and you know I think I just made two problems for me and you know I already had this body issue and right now I'm on a diet I'm not strong I don't feel like I'm an athlete anymore and I think that's worse than my body issue like I'll, I just rather be an athlete I think but you know
I'm not really sure if you know I want to quit I want to like stop my diet and come back to my normal life because um, I don't love myself and I'll feel bad again but not being strong and not feeling like I'm an actual athlete is like way harder all right I think um, as an athlete everybody just you know wants to a lower body fat and you know they want me to look like you know uh, athletes on Instagram or something it, it's not it's not real it's not like the truth about every athlete but they don't really look at me and they're like <clears throat> as an athlete um, it, it's it's pretty hard like it's it's like it's all about appearance it's not about like performance and like how hard you work it's more about like how you look and because you don't like you don't look like like you know I don't know track layer you're not an athlete like it's not true um, I think I want my strength back but also I don't really feel good about like my body it's not like I don't feel good it's like I feel very bad and like <clears throat> I want like lower body fat and stuff so I don't really know what I want and <clears throat> it's really hard to I feel very bad and like <clears throat> I want like lower body fat and stuff so I don't really know what I want and <clears throat> it's really hard to not feel strong like as an athlete you should feel strong to feel happy but i don't and i also feel sad like i basically make two problems i said it before but yeah i really really bad but i can't really choose what i want and what is right you know i think you know i think i'm just 30 years old and I don't know what I want like between ice cream and chocolate that's like as easy and as looks but like it's not easy for me I don't really know what I want like I want them both but I don't know what I want first so I just don't and I'm okay with that like you know sometimes you don't know what you want right you know it's it's like hard when people think like you're really happy really okay with what you're doing and it's not like it's been a year and a half I'm in quarantine and I never ate like with good feeling like I was always feeling like I'm fat so you know I wasn't really comfortable with food like I was like I was eating enough food because I wanted my performance like I wanted to be a good uh, athlete but but you know I wasn't comfortable with food and I'm not comfortable with food and you know I you know trying to just lower the calorie never told my coach but yeah, it happened and right now like and right now I don't I don't feel as good as I want like I just want to love myself and I don't know what like the best way because you know, I can go on a diet but if I go on a strict diet I can have a good performance and I'm not gonna be strong so if I'm not strong and I don't have like best performance I expect uh, I'll be depressed so I don't really know what I want and what I have to 
no cap. But, I mean, that's fine. That's life, right? Alright, I'm filming a YouTube video right now and it's day 7. I mean, I don't hate myself, but I don't love myself as well. So, it's it's better. It's better than hating yourself. Because, you know, when you hate yourself, you just don't want to exist. And, you know, it feels better. Uh, my workout is better. My hurt, my leg hurts a little bit, but it's fine. Like, body issue is not gone, but um, it feels better. Like, I feel better. I'm better. Definitely. this is CJ and today in this pretty long video I'm going to be talking about pretty much everything about fitness, breakfast, how much water you, you need, uh, what diet is the best diet, what things you need more, what things you need less, mistakes you make during like your workout journey or your diet journey. So stick to me to the end of this video but first make sure to subscribe and like this video so i know everybody our parents our teachers our the you know community tell us to drink eight glass of water but is it really enough or not i researched about how much water you actually need in a day but you know i saw very different results some said just eight glasses some said how as much as you can drink and some said 2.7 to 3.7 liters in a day but why did they just, they just said three and four liters but i realized it's really different person to person it depends on your height how much you work out uh, the environment you live in like it's uh dry or like it's Humid? Is that how you say it? I don't know. So, whatever. Yeah, it depends on very different things. You need a different amount of water. The reason why people say eight glasses, and like um, you see in the researches, and everybody tells us to drink eight glasses of water, is that eight is a number that we can actually remember, and that's like the only reason sometimes eight glasses could be really low and not enough for our body but it's just a rem just a number that you can remember the source of water is not just water it could be milk any type of caffeine any type of milk and fruit also veggies have a lot of water in them 96% of watermelon is water, 95% of lettuce is water, and 89% of pear is water. So you can like get a part of the water you need in a day from, uh, you know, fruits. But note that fruits have sugar in them, so you don't want to eat a lot of sh like sugar. So fruit is sugar, I know it's healthy, but you know, it's sugar. If you work out, water actually affects a lot on your performance and it really helps you recover. So you should know how much water you need as a person who works out. Doesn't matter if you're like an athlete, a person who compete or just a person who goes to the gym. You need two to three cups of water before you work out about like four three four hours before you work out and one cup of water uh, an hour before you work out during the workout you need one cup of water every 10 to 15 minutes and one really 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 important thing is after workout it's really important to stay hydrated because you will lose a lot of water we are sweating uh, a lot and you need to make it up so uh, the suggestion a nutritionist told me is that 
you have to drink one cup of water for every 500 grams you lose after a workout but you might just don't want to go on the scale because you have problems with your weight or you don't have one so i just prefer drink as much water as you can after you work out so you make sure you're not dehydrated there are signs that you are dehydrated uh, sometimes you have like very very bad headaches and you have muscle cramp you have dizzy and like and your strength it really affects on your strength when you're uh, dehydrated it affects on your strength and you don't feel um, strong enough and like how it used to be so water is pretty much very very important it's as important as uh, food it is for us so about breakfast I don't really make it fancy or complicated I just make the most simple one and toppings they just add calories I don't really use different toppings I just use and eat the most basic breakfasts the first thing is eggs and why because it has protein in it and it's really important uh, for me as an athlete to get enough protein and you know because we we need to have a protein in three meals of the day so it's like the best choice for an athlete egg is high quality protein and also it makes you feel full especially if you eat it with bread you know some um, carbohydrate so uh, it makes you like lose fat not makes you it helps because it makes you like more full if you have a uh, type 2 diabetes you can have 12 eggs in a week it's totally fine it's not gonna hurt you at all me personally i've been eating eggs for breakfast for almost two years now it's very good makes you full it has high quality protein it has a lot of protein in there so you know just have it it's, it's just so good i don't really like like i don't really like the flavor and the texture but you know i have to eat it the second breakfast is oats you can make overnight oats or you can cook them i prefer overnight because i don't want them to be like hot or even warm i want them cold but it's totally optional and you know depends on what you like so they have a lot of fiber and carbohydrates in them but not like that much and they're mm, pretty much low calories so it's really good makes you feel full and also help you with fat loss because i have like um two parts of breakfast i have eggs and oats i eat about 30 to 40 grams of oats with like no topping but if it's like your only breakfast or you add like protein powder in it you can eat like more if you don't use eggs oats have a lot of benefits they can improve your sugar broad blood control and they reduce uh, cancer risk they protect your skin and also their low calorie they have slow digestion so you feel full for longer how i make oats i use like 30 to 40 grams of oats i just add uh, milk i use just regular milk you can use almond or coconut or any type of milk i use regular milk and uh, i just add until i feel it's good because you know i don't really measure how much i just you know when i felt satisfied and i add cinnamon salt sometimes cocoa powder and uh, i let it be in the refrigerator overnight or i make it in the morning like at 7 38 and i eat it at like 10 30 11 so it you know it soaks and you know it's ready to eat I don't use toppings for that because you know it just adds uh you know calorie i don't want that because mm, you know i just prefer to have small 
uh, meals rather than just having a big meal because I'm always hungry. Uh, the third one is a combination of oats and eggs. It's very good. It's pancakes. I know, like, we love pancakes, right? We all do. And it has, like, different recipes. What I use is, like, really healthy and it doesn't have, like, added sugar because the sugar comes from, I mean, not the sugar, the sweetness comes from, you know, banana. I use one egg with a half of a banana. I just mash banana and I add I sometimes add cocoa powder and always salt and cinnamon. Cinnamon actually makes everything uh, you know taste better. I think it makes the flavor to actually come out and you can feel it. And I add sometimes vanilla and baking powder. I don't know why, I just use baking powder. And I mix them in a food processor and I just cook it. You can use honey or maple syrup or anything you like. Just, you know, don't add too much. And also use like organic honey and maple syrup. So basically pancakes have protein in them they have like good carbohydrate comes from oats and banana i remembered i didn't say how much oat i add i don't know how much oat i add to my pancake i just you know add my oat until like i have the texture i want sometimes it's like thick sometimes not you know i just add how much i want you can actually add like flour but you know you need you don't want like white flour you need to use something like healthier <laughs>
calorie calculators, you add like everything, like your height, your weight, your age, and also how much you work out. And they give you like uh, a number, how much you should eat and how much protein, carb and uh, fat you should eat. So it's, it's really good, but don't really be obsessed with calories and how much you eat and just measure everything. I know like a lot of athletes do that, but if it's like a concern for you, if it makes you uh, nervous, because I know some people are like really uh, nervous and you know, it's really stressful for them to measure food. Just don't do at that and you know, you will get to know that or just, you know, talk to a nutritionist or a coach who doesn't really care about calories and stuff and just follow their diet because it could be stressful and it could be unhealthy, like mentally. About calories, uh, one gram of carbohydrate has four calories in it, one gram of protein has four calories in it as well, but one gram of fat has nine calories uh, in it. But you know, it's not a bad thing, like eating fat because it has like more calorie is not a bad thing. It's very good. It actually makes you feel full for longer. So don't be afraid of eating any type of food. Just eat everything and be happy, be kind to yourself. So I'm going to tell you the reason why carbohydrates, protein and fat are all important and you should have them all in your diet. Carbohydrates, they are the main energy source in our body. Our body actually uses carbohydrate at first as, a, as energy and it helps you with workout. You know, when it comes to high intensity workout, you should, not should, you have to eat carbs because it just helps you with your performance. And also, your brain uses that. So it's really important. It's like a, a food for your brain. Uh, so you exactly, exactly want that and also it helps you with your fat loss first because it makes you feel full for longer and second because it has something in it that actually helps with your fat loss process. About protein, protein, you know, actually our body, like the whole body is made of protein and so you don't want to lose that because it's really important. It's like a you know, all of our body is protein, kind of. And it actually makes muscle, like we eat protein in, in order to make and save muscle. So that's exactly what we want. And how much uh, protein you need, you need 1.2 gram of protein for one kilogram of your weight. About fat, like it, you know, it, I know it has like more calorie, rather than carbs and protein, but it's really important because, you know, uh, it makes you feel full for longer and it's really important. So our body uses fat and if our body doesn't have carbohydrates and doesn't have, car uh, you know, fat in it, it uses muscle. So you need fat and also testosterone is made of fat. Testosterone is the only thing that makes muscle. So you want to eat fats in order to have like good amount of testosterone in your body to be able to actually make more muscle. So in this part, I'm going to answer the most asked questions about nutrition and fitness. Uh, like on Google, I searched on Google, you know, what are the most asked questions and I found 52 of them so I'm going to answer 52 asked questions that you might have them in your mind and I had them I actually had them when I wanted to start my you know journey I didn't know the answer so I made a lot of mistakes but right now I'm going to answer all of them to you guys so be with me to the end of this part I wrote pretty much a lot of questions, 52 questions, and there are a lot, and I'm going to answer all of them to you. So the first question is that, 
Is breakfast the most important meal? No, no, it's not. You know, actually every meal is important. And the reason why others says, you know, uh, breakfast is the most important meal is that because you don't want to have a snack or you don't want a lot of food in your lunch. There's nothing to do with like weight loss, weight gain, stuff like that. Um, the only reason is that like you might want a lot more food for your sn for snack and especially for your lunch. Uh, but you know, you should know every meal is really important and you should have them all. You shouldn't skip uh, breakfast because it's just important. It's a meal and also you shouldn't s skip any other meal like lunch and dinner. Uh, so it's not the most important meal, but it's an important. It's important because it's a meal. Second question: Is eating at night makes me fat? No. So I remember about like three to five years ago, everybody was like, eating at night makes you fat. Why? It's it's not true. It doesn't make you fat. People would say uh, if you eat carbs at night, eat like calorie is like a lot more. Like if a piece of bread has a hundred calories in it, after six p.m., it's gonna be like a hundred and sixty, a hundred and forty. It's not true. It doesn't make you fat. You know, it doesn't really matter where, when you eat. But you know. You don't want to eat something heavy before you go to bed because, you know, you're going to see nightmares. So, no, it doesn't make you fat. Don't. don't. I remember people would say, don't eat, you know, dinner because it makes you fat. And if you skip dinner, it actually helps with your fat loss um, journey, but it's not true. So you should have all of the meals and it doesn't matter when you eat them. Question number three. Where is it? <laughs> Should I cut carbs? Okay, it's really, really important. Everybody thinks you should cut carbs, but you shouldn't. So basically, when you want to lose weight, you actually go on a diet with lower carb. But it doesn't mean you should cut carbs completely because you know carbs actually help you with your energy and they make you be happy so when you don't cut don't eat carbs especially you know in carb cycling diet in low carb uh, days you're like angry and exhausted and so you don't want that and no you don't necessarily need to cut carbs and and you know, sometimes you cut carbs for like two weeks, you go on the scale, you, you've you lost five kilograms in, I don't know, two weeks and you're happy and it's water, it's not fat because carbohydrates actually save fat, in, save water, I'm sorry, save water in your body. So when you don't have carbohydrate in your body, you don't have water in your body and they all damage your body just because you want a lower number on the scale so no you shouldn't cut carbs that much a little bit with a nutritionist you should work with a nutritionist question number four what is the best diet for fat loss so we don't have such a thing, the best diet for fat loss, because we have like a best diet. A best diet is a standard diet. You don't feel hungry, angry, and exhausted in it. And, you know, a nutritionist told me a best, the best diet is 55, 15, and 30. By that, I mean 55% of carbohydrate, 30% of protein and 15 percent of uh, fat and sometimes we lower the carbohydrate but we make it up with fat or protein most of the time fat because fat can actually give you energy like carbohydrates do 
so you shouldn't just lower carbohydrate and not replace it with any other thing but like the most imp the, the most standard diet is this 55 15 and 30. question number five should i count calories yes and no so counting calories are actually very stressful i used to count calories and i was really stressed about like what i eat and i would count every 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 everything but i realized it's not good my coach told me that i shouldn't do that so i stopped that but you know when you actually work with a nutritionist they give you like specific thing think of what you should eat and when they give you a diet you shouldn't uh count calories anymore and you know i think it's just mentally not really healthy because you're always like really stressed about how much calorie you should eat and especially when it comes to meal meal like lunch okay it has a lot of calories because it has carbohydrates many like maybe like veggies or and protein in it so it has a lot of calories in it and you're like no i shouldn't eat that but you should eat that so no, I, I think it's not really healthy and good and you know you don't really know how much you need so working with a coach with a nutritionist and not counting calories is just the best way because sometimes you might eat some eat like I don't know a thousand five hundred calories but according to what are what you do your job and the workout you do it's uh like less and you need a lot more but you don't know that and you actually damage your body so talking to a specialist is the best way and then you shouldn't count calories and i think it's the best way question number six when should i eat before and after my workout so if you work out um uh, at like in the afternoon like evening or like afternoon is better you 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 have to eat your lunch four hours at least for like 34 hours before you work out because you know uh the pro protein you have in your uh you know lunch actually takes the water in your body and you'll be like maybe dehydrated so you need to work out for three or four hours after lunch and about after workout i know a lot of people say you shouldn't eat two hours before after workout it's not true it's not true actually you know uh when like you just want to start your workout you're here when you work out and you're done you're here but and you want to go here like you want to go higher than when you used where you used to be so you know you have to eat more and you can totally like get home and eat something doesn't matter like what you can eat like shakes i don't know pancakes who eats pancakes after workout i don't know whatever your coach says um that's totally fine it's not gonna make you fat i don't know where it comes from that it makes you fat but it doesn't actually so just eat but you know about before because you'll feel a li little bit like exhausted uh when you eat lunch and then you go work out because you, your stomach is just full so you should wait about like three four hours three hours is is fine if you don't eat a lot of food question number seven is mbi a fair measurement no so let me tell you why mbi works with your height and your weight and tells you like according to your height is your weight suitable for you are you overweight or you need to put on weight or something like that which is absolutely not true because weight is not fat okay all of like 
Okay, you go on the, on the scale, you weigh like 55 kilograms. It's not all fat, it's like everything. And, you know, it could be water, muscle, or fat. Like, organs in our body have weight. So you're not sure if like this 55 kilograms is fat and you should lose it. So, for example, as an athlete, you make a lot of muscle. So, and you gain a lot of uh, weight. According to MBI measurement, you are overweight, but you're not overweight, you are an athlete. Like, for example, for me, uh, MBI says I should be something between 50 to 57 kilograms according to my height, which is pretty much short. Uh, but I weighed 66 to 67 kilograms because I'm an athlete, because I'm of like working on my muscle my strength so i have built a lot of muscle and they have weight so i can't trust mbi and you shouldn't trust mbi the only thing you should actually trust is you know um, the body composition test body composition test actually tells you like how much fat water and muscle you have in your body so you can just trust that you shouldn't trust the scale and that's all so don't rely on mbi number eight i i found it on, on the internet and i was like who asked it like the the question is that should i have snacks and what is the question like i don't i don't understand it i i watched um a video a doctor said you shouldn't have snacks between your meals because it makes you fat but what 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 is this like it's not true it's just not true i can't tell you anything more than that so for example we need a thousand eight hundred two thousand calories in a day you don't get that uh you know in your meal and snacks if you have like nuts or fruits they give you vitamin fat and like carbohydrates so it it's good i don't know why a doctor says you shouldn't have snack and why a person should ask for that so it's i always say it's not going to be a hard process for you to lose fat so you can have snacks that's totally fine and you can have like a lot of snacks but don't overdo that question number nine which has been my question for so long until my coach told me like made it just clear for me what food is bad there's no food bad there's nothing bad like okay you say hamburgers pizza mcdonald's i don't know ice cream cakes they're not bad food we have healthy and unhealthy foods and we don't have good and bad foods also most of the things we use are actually processed so nothing is just a hundred percent pure so about like things that we call them bad foods like you know ice cream cakes biscuits i don't know you know pizza any type of fast food is not a bad food it's just an unhealthy food and you can have unhealthy food on your cheat days you know not not every week not every day but you can have them and that's just totally fine there's nothing like bad food we don't call it like bad food you know anything could be bad if you overeat that even healthy foods so no, we don't have bad food. Question number 10. Is sugar bad? So sugar could be bad and could be good. Because you know, you know your body needs sugar, needs carbohydrate, different types of carbohydrate. But eating a lot of sugar, like eating cakes, ice cream, and chocolate every day, every time, like in... You know, even fruit has sugar in them. 
So you sh you should have like a balance, uh, and you should like make the balance. But it's not like you shouldn't eat sugar at all. Okay, yeah, we, if you have the habits, you shouldn't, and you should avoid carbs. But about like normal people, it's not bad. So it's not like a bad food. You should just have control of them. Like I am a sugar addict, but. I don't get it every day, but you know, every day we ha we eat sugar, okay, honey, maple syrup, fruit, all of them have sugar in them, so, uh, you know, we basically eat sugar and we can't say, like, it's bad, so just don't overeat that, that's all. So, question number 11, does weightlifting make me look like a man? No. It doesn't. And you know, when you say it look, it makes me look like a man, I'm like, do every man look like, you know, Tia Claire? Because I don't think they look. They have a lot of fat. So, no, actually, because, you know, the only thing that makes muscle in your body is testosterone. And when you don't have, like, a lot of testosterone, like, as girls, we don't have a lot of testosterone. In our body so it's not gonna happen it's it's not possible and you know people you see like athletes you see uh, on Instagram they definitely work very hard it's a lot of hard work behind uh, that body and also like supplement and drugs which is totally okay for an athlete to use so naturally even if you use like protein whey stuff like that you're not gonna look like that and i think that's like very beautiful but if you don't want to look like that you should be like you know it's, it's fine if you don't want to look like that but you shouldn't be worried because you're not because it's just so much hard work and you know just so much work and so hard to get so don't worry and lift weights and, you know, just grow your metabolism to lose weight. Question number 12. When is the best time to work out? So there is nothing like the best time to work out. Uh, you know, in the morning, we prefer to do cardio, stuff like that. Doesn't need a lot of like strength or something. Need energy, but not strength something like weightlifting so we need a lot of strength for weightlifting and also like uh, you know bodybuilding I think I can do bodybuilding in the morning but weightlifting and metcons I can't do them in the morning I should just eat something good to be able to do that but it totally depends on you you can just try uh, but for me I try like different times Sometimes I work out in the morning, sometimes at noon, sometimes in the afternoon, but not like evening. It's it's not really good. But you know, it totally depends on you, your body and you know, how your body feels. Question number 13. How much should I sleep? Interesting. It's really interesting. So you should know something. Sleeping at noon Sleeping in the morning or at, in evening doesn't count. It actually makes you feel like more exhausted uh, and tired. So it doesn't count. What we count as sleep is night sleep. It should like, uh, you know, just during the night, about like 10 to 6, 7 at most eight in the morning and you should get at least seven hours seven to ten hours is good but i don't mean sleeping at 3 a.m and waking up at 11 p.m it's not the good sleep and the quality of sleep is a lot important more important than the co the quantity because you know i remember when i realized i have to sleep seven hours at night i was really stressed and nervous and i thought if i sleep like six and a half hours you know everything will be ruined and you know i'm not going to be successful anymore in my career so it's not 
don't be really like uh, you know obsessed with the time but you should totally have a uh, night time sleep and you should wake up at at most eight but if you wake up at seven you know like that is good i don't tell you to wake up at like five uh but yeah that's the only sleep that makes you actually you know awake and bright so uh, yeah you should get about seven to ten hours question number 14 what is the best motivation how to stay motivated so it's like another whole video but i'm gonna tell you something motivation comes from you not around you okay if you really trust on people and just wait for them to compliment you to encourage you to do something and to tell you how great you are you know you'll not be really successful so it should come from inside of you and knowing that you're changing you're seeing progress it doesn't matter what your goal is if it's like putting on weight losing weight or just building a lifestyle becoming a athlete to compete when you see your progress it should be enough for you don't really wait for people to encourage you because you know somebody don't because they're jealous and someone do but you might think it's not enough so it comes from inside and just be happy with yourself from inside of you and you know it's all you and you no more question number 15 i got that it's like the similar than the best time of working out but i saw that it's working out in the morning better so i didn't think like there's a difference like if you work out in the morning you burn like 2000 calories and when you work out in the afternoon you burn like 600 with the same workout it's not really true you know actually the best time of workout as i said is when you feel like that and when you think works better for you so it you know it doesn't really matter it's it's not a a fact that working out in the morning is like more effective because for like strained things you can't really do them in the morning because you're not as energetic as you are in the afternoon so no it's not the best time to work out Question number 16. Should I work out every day? No. Your body needs to recover. Professional athletes have access to very, very, very professional recovery tools. They have different massagers, they have like, you know, ice bath, you know, and even stuff that I don't know their names. So they work out six times a week so and you want to work out seven times a week no it's not possible it's not gonna happen you know you can actually do that but you see the problem in the future because you know some uh, there was one time i told my coach i'm gonna work out six times six times a week and he was like okay and after a month i would get like really exhausted my body was was just so sad and i didn't know what to do so you know you need to recover you might work out like six seven days a week you don't see what actually you're doing with your body but after a month or two you see like your body is like really exhausted because it didn't have the time to actually recover so you need like a whole week like one or two weeks to rest and recovery so i prefer like four or five times a week is fine to work out six days if you have access to like recovery tools yes yeah, six days is good not all every day should be a hard day so yeah four five six days it's it's fine
Question number 17. How do I gain muscle? Easy and not easy. So basically you lift weight. I'm not talking about strength. I'm talking about like, uh, you know, light sets, like three, 15, like three sets of 15 reps. All right. With not light and not like the heaviest weight you can lift because for gaining muscle you actually use like a lighter dumbbell or barbell whatever it is with more reps but for strength you use like heavier weights with lower uh, reps for example like when i'm back squatting for muscle gain I do like three, ten, three sets of ten back squats. But if it's for strength, I do even five, one five. I mean, one set of five reps, or like one, 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 or like what is usual and I do every day uh, is like three, four, four, four rounds of four reps. So what you should do for muscle gain is using like more lighter dumbbells uh, and doing like more reps. Obviously eating protein, I don't, you know, you need at least 1.2 uh, gram of protein for, for one kilogram of your weight. But for muscle gain, you need about... Um, you know one and a half grams of protein for one kilogram of your weight but you should totally talk to uh, your coach about how much protein you should get and you should have a good sleep uh, and a good lifestyle you know they all really help you with your muscle gain it's not just about lifting weights because when you lift weight you actually lose everything when you eat and sleep and have like a good lifestyle you actually gain the muscle so you have to do all of them in order to gain muscle question number 18 what is the best workout to lose weight i know a lot of people tell you cardio is the best way to lose weight but it's not true cardio actually really helps you with your heart like it's gonna be stronger and it loses like it burns calories but actually when you lift weight as i said before in this video when you lift weight it helps with your metabolism and um, you know when you do cardio you actually burn like more fat and doing like more like high intensity workouts and stuff like that doing like everything together is like better sticking only to cardio doesn't really help you that much uh, and your diet is also important as well so you should have like a good diet to lose weight and you should do like everything with your workout it shouldn't be like abs abs workout only or cardio or heat or like even bodybuilding only it should be all together to you know get the best result question number 18 or 19 19 yeah question number 19 how to grow strength so for growing strength is opposite than growing muscle so how it works is that you use heavier dumbbells and barbells and you do less reps and round and sets so it's basically like three sets of only four five reps or like even one set of five reps or like five rep five sets of three reps stuff like that because you want to do heavy and it takes time and it needs a professional coach question number 20 how many rest days should i have so it really depends i and you know what your goal is and how you work for example for me it's five days a week of workout and two days of 
fully rest days sometimes i feel like doing that i it and it's not going to be a hard day like i don't do a metcon or like you know back squat or stuff like that i do like a light cardio or something like you know ab and cardio workout but you know i just recommend five days of workout and two days of rest day you know but you can do one easy day and work out for six days and four days is good as well but five i think is the best question number 21 how does it help with my mental health so let me tell you when you work out you feel a lot more confident why because you feel like you're strong you know sometimes you might say like i don't want to gain muscle i don't really want to you know lift weight but when you do that and when you see the progress and when you see you're stronger you just feel a lot better and being strong especially in women makes them a lot like more confident and also when you see the result of the goal you have if it is weight loss if, if it is uh weight gain doesn't matter what it is it gives you a lot of confidence because you see the changes and after like a year and two you see the result the actual result and everybody encourages you and you encourage yourself you see how strong you were to actually not quit and follow everything follow your diet going to the gym uh, pretty much every day and i think the first thing it helps is with your you know with your confidence and the second thing it actually helps you is that it makes a better lifestyle for you so you feel a lot happier so when you don't sleep till 11 p.m when you sleep soon when you eat clean and healthy food and you actually have a plan for your life you generally feel better and you pretty much always feel a lot happier so it's not all about your body especially like your performance your body it's more about your mental health your confidence and how good you feel question number 22 should i trust the scale no as i said before you shouldn't trust mbi you shouldn't trust the scale as well why because you know the number on the scale doesn't necessarily means that you've lost or you've gained fat you know sometimes you go on you know intermediate fasting or you just go on fasting for a day and then you weigh yourself you see like you've lost one or two kilograms even more and you're happy but you shouldn't because it's fat and when you drink water and you eat a little bit you just gain it so no you shouldn't really trust on the scale because it doesn't show what it is it just shows how much you weight it doesn't show if it is fat water or muscle question number 23 should i work out with empty stomach so if you mean just waking up and going for a run no because you know it just gives your energy especially if you want to like go running some somebody thinks like running is like nothing and it doesn't really you know takes anything from your body but it's wrong uh you know running is a cardio workout it could be really hard so if you don't really want to be heavy and you just want to eat something i prefer like uh, a half of a banana with coffee just have coffee before you run it gives you energy or if you have like an energy drink or energy supplements it's uh it works like coffee but with fully empty and just you know bringing a bottle of water with you doesn't doesn't help no it doesn't help so no don't do that um eat just a little bit a little thing like a date uh banana not a whole banana like 
you know, a fruit, anything that, you know, gives you a little bit of energy. Um, but it's good to not to work out not when you're not full. You know, it tests you, but fully empty a stomach, no. Question number 24. How much it takes to see the results? Depends. If you want to lose 30 kilograms, if you just want to look good, you have something in your mind, you want to put on weight, it really depends how much it is, like how much you should put on weight and how much you should lose weight, but don't look for short-term process because, you know, it's going to be unhealthy. So what you want to do is to take, you know, to take care of changes, you know, just trust and changes, not, don't look, really look for the results because the actual result you're looking for will be achieved in one or two years. And, you know, you shouldn't just hate yourself and then love yourself after one year or two. So if you stick to changes, it's a lot better than the results and you know, seeing the result, the actual result you want, it really depends on how hard you work, how, you know, strict you are, how much you stick to your diet, and, you know, they all actually helps with uh, the result you get, but don't think of under a year. You should at least work hard for a year to see the result and don't quit after you see the result because it's gonna just come back. Question number 25. Should I eat before bed? You can, but you know, if you eat like a whole meal before bed, you might get stomach ache or you see nightmares and you can have like a good sleep, but having like a little snack or like a fruit or you know something like that if you feel hungry is totally okay having like green tea with dark chocolate or like an apple something like that a whole meal is just so heavy and you know it doesn't really let you sleep so i don't recommend a meal but snack is totally fine doesn't make you fat don't be worried about that. Question number 26. I'm on a low carb diet. Is that good for me? Um, I can't really tell if it's good or not because we have different low carb diet. I've been on a low carb diet, but it was completely healthy. I had the amount of carbohydrate I need not overloading calorie, not overeating carbohydrate, but I had enough. Sometimes low carb diets doesn't have enough enough carbohydrates in them, so you don't want to go on these diets. But a low carb diet, a standard low carb diet, is the best diet, and I always recommend you to see a nutritionist because you know a nutritionist or a coach who could give you. A diet plan is the best choice because they actually know how much you need and sometimes you, we just don't eat as much as we need because we think it's better but it's not good it's not healthy carbs helps you with your fat loss so you know don't just lower the carbohydrates as much as you can because it's not healthy so a low carb diet could be good carb cycling diet could be good but if it is sensible if you know it's professional question number 27 i eat when i feel hungry is that good no no you know um a standard diet is a diet that you don't feel hungry in it at all so you know what time you should eat what all right, like when you wake up, you eat this. After two hours, you eat that. After two hours, you eat that. 
then you eat lunch, you know, you shouldn't be hungry and start eating something. Uh, you know, your diet plan should be like really precise that you know what you should eat in what time. And when you feel hungry, you just eat anything you want and it ruins your diet. So you should know you should eat what in what time. I said that a thousand times, but it's like that important. You shouldn't feel hungry and then eat. You should eat in order to not feel hungry at all. Question number 28. I'm working out very hard, but I'm not seeing the results and my body has stopped losing weight. It's normal. It's totally normal. Your body is not a machine. You can't actually, you know, Okay, let me tell you like this. Imagine you work out for a year, 12 months. Your body can't lose fat for 12 months. Like lose one kilogram, two kilograms of fat every month for 12 months. It's not possible. And it's not possible for, you know, uh, muscle gain as well. Sometimes in like one month of the year, we actually lose a little bit of muscle because our body is not a machine we can't always like gain two kilograms of muscle uh each month and also we can't lose like two kilogram in one month for a year straight with no like stop yes your body stops you better like lower the intensity of your workout take a break have a cheat meal it shocks your body and with this you help your body but you know totally it's okay if your body has stopped uh like losing weight because you know it's just something really normal don't don't be afraid of that question number 13 very interesting how much should i wait i don't know so as i said don't trust this scale and don't trust MBI. So just look at yourself, look at your body, take a cup body composition test, and then you know if you're healthy or not, if you have enough water, muscle, and fat in your body or not. You know the number of this scale, you don't know what it is. Uh, MBI is not standard at all, so you don't really know how much you should weight. The thing you should know is that you should lower your body fat and you should increase your muscle and you should drink enough water in order to, you know, be hydrated. Being hydrated is really important. I talked uh, before uh, in this video uh, about how much water you should eat, especially if you work out before, during and after workout. And, you know, it's basically like, you know, there's nothing I can tell you like how much you should weigh. I I remember I once I asked my coach, should I weigh 64 kilogram or like 60 or 55? And he was like, what are you talking about? Uh, we don't know how much you should weigh. Your appearance, you know, how you look is like more important. Like, you know, you're healthy and you take a body composition test. So you know how much fat you have and your weight doesn't mean it's fat so no you don't know how much you should wait so question number 31 i've never exercised exercised where do i begin so i've been the same i have felt the same three years ago and I recommend you to go to a gym, not start at home. Or if you start, if you like want to start at home, just um, have a personal coach. Like, you know, it could even be like online coaching or online programming, but have a coach because it really helps you to keep you motivated and to keep you on a track. Because if you don't have a coach, you're more likely to quit so um, yeah pretty much it. just have a coach and that's like all of my advice 
Like, and, and you know, listen to everything I've said before and I will say right now and you also subscribe to my channel because I'm gonna be talking about this a lot more. I don't know why I keep writing uh, repeatedly questions. Like the question 52 is how much should I sleep? And I've already read that. Okay, I, I told you between seven to 10 hours at night not in the morning, not in the afternoon, at night, and uh, I don't know, why did I write that again? I'm sorry. Question number 30, 30 or 40, 30, 33. What do I do to not quit? So first, you should have motivation. What is your motivation? You should find it, it could be to get your like body type you the body type you want or you want to change your lifestyle and have a coach have a person with you like a person uh, who works out with you doesn't matter their uh, goal but you know just have a person to work out with you to you know, like to with you in your process is like a lot better so I don't really have so much I think if you want that if you really want that you will never quit so yeah yeah I, I, I don't have a lot of suggestions again repeatedly question question number 34 is that when is the best time to work out I don't know I didn't check I'm so sorry I just wrote them I didn't check if any of them is repeatedly so I, I you know but but i told you the best time is when your body feels like that and when your body responds to the workout better that's all question number 35 i guess yes 35 how often should i do abs workout so abs workout are good yes like other workouts but you know they're really you know sensitive maybe the muscle like ab muscle is very sensitive so you shouldn't do ab workout every day i know a lot of people tell you to do that every day in order to have flex but belly it's not it's not true no you shouldn't do that because you know you can just hurt hurt your your back you know I don't know what it is in English, something in, in your back, you can hurt it if you do that every day. I recommend just two, three days in a day is probably enough uh, to do ab workouts. Question number 36 is really, really interesting. Is 70-30 true? So what is 70-30? A lot of people believe that, uh, you know, in a fat loss or fat gain, weight gain, anything like that, what is important? 70% uh, is nutrition and 30% is workout. It's not true. Nutrition is 100% important and workout is 100% important. You know, what they mean is actually uh, like workout affects 70%, uh, 30% and diet affects 70% like diet is more important but it's not true all of them are important together if you uh, like lose a part of that you lose everything so no it's not it's not important it's not don't rely on that everything is important sleep 100% important nutrition 100% uh, work out 100%, discipline 100%, everything is important. There is nothing like such a thing like priority uh, like in fitness. Question number 30, I don't know, seven, yeah, 37. Why I don't see the result? It's easy. 
why you don't see the results because you are not patient seeing the results and the actual body type you want will be achieved in like i don't know the uh, a year at least at least a year so no you won't see the result after like at least a year so don't do that don't think of the resulting of the changes i've mentioned that in uh like other videos i don't mean other videos like previously on this video so you shouldn't really think of the result because it will be achieved in one or two years but if you focus on changes you just feel better result will come soon just don't be really obsessed with that question number 38 yeah 38 what is the best protein so the best protein is the protein that comes from animals and Okay, egg is a very high quality protein and if you find a pure organic uh, meat it's better as well I know like there are like vegetables something like that they have protein in them but you know some beans and stuff but they're not complete like they have protein but they're not like it the protein is not completed it doesn't have um like everything you need so the best protein is the protein that comes from you know egg and animals egg comes from animals too so you know um i don't know if you know but vegan people veget vegetarian people they also use like protein bay and stuff like that because beans doesn't have like um all of the protein that you want because protein is not just protein it has uh different parts so different parts are in animal protein not in like veggies and stuff like that so yeah question number 38 or 9 nine how often should i have cheat day okay if you think you need cheat day every single week you're wrong your diet is wrong you should change it because it shouldn't happen and you shouldn't have a full cheat day a cheat day means you're doing something that is not your lifestyle and you're actually torturing yourself it shouldn't be like that you know, uh, for example, for me, a cheat day is like, you know, a pizza and an ice cream or a cake, something like that. It's not like eating everything and just killing myself with food for a day. It's absolutely not true. So just, you know, a meal and a dessert every 20, 25 days is good, I think. Question number 40. Is a coffee bad for me? Yes and no. It could be bad. It could be good. It depends on your body. Sometimes, you know, caffeine doesn't work for someone and for somebody it works very well. For example, for me, it works very well. For my mom, it doesn't really work well. So it really depends on uh, you and your body. And coffee addiction okay it's bad okay addiction to anything is bad including coffee so one or two at, at most like three cups is fine and if your body doesn't respond to coffee it's totally okay it depends like i don't know gen genetics something like that um yeah, you know, it, it's not like good or bad. It really depends on the person. Okay. Question number 41. Should I drink coffee before workout? So it really depends on you. Sometimes coffee works for you. Sometimes not. Uh, sometimes, you know, it gives you just a lot of heart, uh, heart rate that you can't work out. It sometimes gives you 
a lot of energy and it works for you so you should actually try that and if you use like um, pre-work um, pre-workout drinks or supplements you don't need to but if you want you can just have it but something like amino energy or c4 pump you know supplements they're like okay they give you the energy you want so it's just really optional question number 42 really interesting should i have a coach yes so i know we see a lot of videos uh like uh, you know they people work out at home with no coach with like uh, videos and stuff like that so uh, you know why i say you should have a coach because you will have a goal watching just you know people working out and just doing that doing the same thing is not actually a goal even if you buy like a pack of cd um, of working out it counts you have a coach because it follows a goal so why i say you should have a coach is because it's you know he or she sets a goal for you and uh, you know, it's with you, especially if you can't really work out alone. Um, if you have a coach, they give you like more confidence, more motivation. They are always with you. If you have a question, uh, they're there to answer you. If you even if you have like online uh, coach, uh, I, I think it's just better. It helps a lot more with your process. So, but it's optional. But you know a coach is professional question number 43 which is somehow like question number 42 is that who is the best coach so the best coach first thing first really important maybe strange weird for you is that a coach should give you warm up it's really important it doesn't matter if it's a co online coach or your coach uh, like in the gym you should take a warm-up from why because warm-up is just really important your body should be ready for the main workout and if they say just you know just warm up and you're new and you have no experience and you don't know what to do you might just hurt yourself you might have injuries just because you didn't have a good warm-up and they give you motivation and they answer what question you have they teach you the correct movement it's really important for them uh, like a good coach make sure make sure that you're doing it right because you don't want to like injure yourself um, so yeah, that, that's that's pretty pretty much it. Gives you motivation, uh, answers your question, gives you warm up, and also cool down. And yeah, pretty much it. And give you advices. Like I think it's important too. Question number forty four: What food makes me fat? No food makes you fat. Chocolate doesn't make you fat. Hamburger doesn't make make you fat. What makes you fat is overloading calorie. Eating calorie more than you need. That's all. So, question number forty five, uh, because you know I'm a CrossFitter. Was that uh, should I have an athletic background for CrossFit? Not really, because you know CrossFit could be hard and easy you know it really depends on your level your level of fitness uh you know your coach wouldn't give you like crossfit games double the ods obviously so no you know if you're six years old or you're 60 years old you can go to crossfit box you can you know get a personal trainer personal crossfit trainer and you will never feel like it's too much for you crossfit is a hard workout in the definition of crossfit you see high intensity workout but it doesn't mean that you can't do that and you need a background because 
your coach comes with you step by step. Question number 46. Question number 46. How do I know my diet works for me? First, you're not hungry all the time. Second, you don't sleep hungry every night. Third, you see the results with the workout. Like, you know, sometimes your, do your diet doesn't match to your workouts. You, you don't see the result. If you see the result, it's probably good. And four is really important. It has everything in it, fat, carbohydrate, and, uh, you know, protein. I know you might go on a, you know, keto diet. It's totally different. You need to work with a really professional specialist uh, to go on a keto diet because they have to replace the whole carbohydrate to fat, which is really hard. Uh, and if you want to go on a keto diet, you should definitely find like the best and the most professional person uh, to, you know, give you a keto diet. But like a standard diet, a diet that works pretty much all the time is the is the diet that has uh, carbohydrates, fat and protein in it. Question number 47. Can I eat healthy and still be fat? Yes, it's all about overloading calorie. If you overload calorie and you don't work out or you don't work out enough, yes, you will get fat. Sometimes you, maybe like for a week, you eat hamburger, ice cream, chocolate. You don't put on weight because you worked out and you burnt it. But sometimes you just eat a lot of healthy food and you get fat and that's totally you know sensible because you know it, it really makes sense because it's about calorie it's not about if a uh, food is healthy or not uh, that's why I said there's no bad and good food because you know they could all be bad and good question number 48 can I work out from home and see the results yes of course why not you don't need a lot of equipment if you have a home gym it's very good but if you don't have equipment that's fine as well you might need like a jumper or something and after a while if you feel like you want to continue with that coach or in that sport you can buy just something not complete if you don't want to go to the gym and you can see the results you want but about like uh, growing strength and you know having like different weights stuff like that you should go you know go to the gym or have a home gym but yes it's possible it's totally possible I had been working out at home for like I don't know a year yes a year and a month and then I built a home gym and I work in my home gym never went to uh, a CrossFit box. Question number 59. Should I have a company to succeed? It really depends on your personality. Sometimes you feel like you need somebody to be with you uh, to succeed. Sometimes you want to be alone. Like for me, I want to be alone. I want to work out alone. But for some other person, maybe it's like, you know, they want some other person to be with them, to work together, to have a diet, especially have a diet. Sometimes, you know, having uh, a diet with your friend, with a person you know, uh, is like a lot more easy, uh, a lot easier. Yeah, my English sucks. Yeah, it's, it's going to be a lot easier and you can have it or not. It's, you know, totally depends on you nothing really important the last question i know i told you it's there the last question i know i told you there are 51 questions but i found another repeated question so i didn't say that and it's the last question 
question number 50 is that how hard this journey will be it's not hard when it becomes your lifestyle when you have the best coach that makes the workout and the diet your lifestyle you don't feel like you're on a diet you feel like it's just your life and that's how you should live and when you get used to working out it's just your lifestyle no more and you don't feel bad about it so it's not going to be hard it's going to be hard to get used to it but until you get the result you want it's not going to be hard anymore